Hi, it's Jeff Challen. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to get started with MP4. This is the first MP this semester where we're using Android Studio. Android Studio is based on the same code base as IntelliJ, and so it's going to look and feel familiar to you. And a lot of the process for working on the MP is very similar to what you're already used to. However, the goal of Android Studio is to design Android apps, and this is something that we're going to be doing for MP4, MP5, and you'll be doing on your final project. And so there are some, some new things to, to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my um, copy of the MP, which is right here. I'm just going to go get a link to it. I've already used the GitHub Classroom link. Um, to grab a copy of the MP. And this assumes that you have Android Studio set up properly. When you open it up, this is the screen that you start with. It looks pretty similar to what we've seen before when we use IntelliJ. I'm gonna to go to checkout from version control. I'm gonna select Git. And I'm gonna use my URL as usual. Once this completes, it's going to ask me if I want to create an Android Studio project for the sources, and the answer to that is yes. There is a dialog that I'm going to walk through here. Uh, the defaults are fine in most cases. This allows you to choose where you put it. Um, this Android Studio creates a directory in your home directory called Android Studio Projects. Um, you know, Idea did that as well. Again, these are all fine to use the defaults, fine to use the defaults here, fine to use the defaults here. Um, Find to use the defaults here as well, um, and hit finish. Once I'm done, it's gonna open up the project. This will take a minute the first time you do it because it's gonna pull down, uh, Gradle's going to run, it's gonna pull down uh, some various libraries and things like this. Uh, you do need the Android SDK version 27 to build this particular app, that's the uh, software development version of the software development kit that we're using. Um, Android continually, like Java, releases new versions of its libraries and tools. The version that we're using for this is 27. Um, we're, now that's different than the version of the app that we're going to target. So Android maintains backwards compatibility. And so we're actually targeting version 26, but we're using version 27. That error that we just saw right here is normal. Um, I've tried to get it to, to go away. It's not a problem. You can just hit close and ignore it. So now, if I've done everything properly, um, I've got two. Now, if now in Android, so Android Studio, the, the views that are open by default are a little bit different. So what you'll see over here is I'm in this Android view. If I want to see something that looks more familiar to me from my work on IntelliJ, I can switch to the project view. Um, and that sort of shows me a similar project structure that I was used to from the Android MPs. What's a little bit different about MP4 is that we've split the assignment into two pieces. And this is done to make sure that we can grade your uh, image transformation library without requiring that your Android application work. So a lot of the things that you see here are pretty typical. I've got my email.txt file. I had already started working on this, so this has my email address in it already. I have you know, a bunch of things that look familiar here, but the source code for this MP is split into two uh, parts. So in the app directory are the sources for my uh, Android application, and you'll find those here. Uh, there's a main activity and then there's a, a tasks.java and in another screencast I'll go through a little bit of what's in here. The, you, in order to get the app to work, you will need to do a little bit of work in these files. Most of what's there is already done for you. So once you complete the image transforms and you pass the test cases, parts of the app will start to work. But there are other parts that won't. You'll have to make some small changes. That was designed to just get you started, get you comfortable with some of the types of things that you'll need to do with Android on future MPs. But it should not be difficult, and we're willing to help you with that part. That's not a graded part of the assignment. Uh, the assignment, the part of the assignment that's graded, the part of MP4 that's graded is entirely uh, within the lib directory. And here you see something that should look uh, fairly similar to you. Now there is this new package that we're putting things in, so that's something that's covered in the MP write-up. Not a big concern and something we'll talk about in class soon. 
All we've given you to start with is this RGBA pixel class, which um, you can use as part of your image transformation. Um, you'll need to use as part of your image transformation uh, uh, file. As usual, um, we've also provided documentation. And so one of the first things you'll have to do is you'll need to create a class called transform.java and you'll need to fill in uh, these methods that are uh, defined here. So there are 12 different methods that you need to provide in order to complete the MP. There are four position shifts, so down, left, right, and up. There are two uh, flips, horizontal and vertical. There are two rotations, left and right. Uh, there are four shrinks and expands. Now note, note that we only test the expansions. We don't test the shrinks. Um, so you can pass the test cases without completing the shrinks, but the app won't work. So there are two, you have to do expand horizontal and expand vertical. And then there's a green screen function. And that's actually kind of a fun part of the app because if you get that to work, what you can do is you can take a green screen image, you can remove the background and you can place it on top of one of the backgrounds that we built into the application for you to use. You will see how to do that in another screencast. Okay, so you know I, I would start this the usual way. I'll show you what happens. Uh, we've put some run configurations in here for you. Um, the CS125 plugin does not yet work with um, Android Studio, so that's not something you need to install. You do need to install check style. There's instructions about how to do that on the Android Studio installation page. But once I have this going, um, I'm going to hit grade. Um, this looks pretty similar to what you've seen in the past, um, and um, it's not nothing's going to compile because I actually haven't created a transform test yet. I haven't put any code in here, um, but I, I did fix the one check style there that we sent you uh, as part of this, and so I have ten points. Um, so again, this is pretty um, pretty similar to what you've seen in the past. Um, it works pretty similar. Once you start to complete the test cases, you'll see points start to show up here. Um, and so that's how to get started uh, with the Android MP. Note that out of the box, if I use this play button up here and I try to build the app, just let me point this out. So this is going to ask me about which device to use, and I'll, and I'll pretend that I'm going to build it for one of my available emulators. This is something, a part of the assignment that we'll go over in more detail on a different screencast. What I just want to show you here is that out of the box, before you actually complete the um, implementation of your transform java class uh, the app won't build because there's no class transform that it depends on so you need to create that class and at least stub out the methods in a way that you did similar to how you did for mp3 before anything will start to work but this is the process of just getting started on um, MP4. Uh, most of the other things are very should be very familiar to you, including how you submit. So you know we do the same thing that we've done in the past with Git, where I can go to the VCS window, I can do Git. You know once I've made changes, I can commit and push. All that is very similar to what you've already been familiar with with IntelliJ.